What interesting times we live in because of this COVID pandemic and what an interesting turn of events have taken place over the last few hours with the Health Workers Union, the union which governs health and aged care workers, demanding that the Premier sack Jenny Makakos. Now, Ms Makakos, as Health Minister, has shown she has not truly understood her portfolio and has never been up to the job. Her current handling of the COVID crisis certainly proves that. And we now see the HWU and its boss, Diana Asma, choose to describe Makakos as clueless and breathtakingly incompetent. Now, they're strong words by one of the state's most powerful unions. Really strong words. The relationship between the HWU and the Andrews state government is now officially dead. That's according to Ms Asma. It has deteriorated to the point of no return. The HWU has actually told the Premier that it will campaign against the government in the next state election. And in some way, you can't help but feel for Jenny Makakos, because through no fault of her own, she was placed in a portfolio that she was clearly incapable of managing. And yet, by the Premier actually allowing her to remain as Health Minister, when he should have assigned her to a lesser portfolio, is just as much a criticism and a slight of his leadership as it is on the incompetence shown by Makakos. Through their actions, both have done immeasurable damage to Victoria. And through their incompetence, they have sent the state and the lives of many Victorians and thousands of businesses in the state spiralling out of control, where the future looks really bleak for a great many of them, and even hopeless for some. And then you throw in the inquiry that is looking more and more like a circus on parade, we're talking about the hotel quarantine inquiry, where lie after lie is told by ministers and senior public servants. It's an inquiry that really has no teeth. It's more a place where forgetfulness and loss of memory are the key denominators being used by all who appear before it. It's also the place where buck passing has become the new sport. Think of that. Well, at the Informer, we've gone on the record for a number of months now, and we've stated that Minister Makakos should have been sacked. We have openly said that she was never up to the job as the Minister for Health. And we also went on to say that she was incompetent, inept. She was actually compromising the health and the lives of Victorians. Now, we've been critical of the Andrews government too, for a number of reasons, and not because we're anti-Labor, nor is it because we have an axe to grind or a conservative political bent to show. But we've done it because the Andrews government has been displaying a level of incompetence and ineptitude that's actually destroying the state of Victoria and damaging the lives of all Victorians. Well, everything we have said at the Informer from the very beginning, and yes, we were the first to say it about the Minister and the Andrews Government, well, it's now been proven to be right. And again, it's not a case of gloating. No, there's certainly no joy in watching a train wreck. There is no fun in that. This is much more about vindication. Vindicating that what we've been saying all along and why we chose to say it, then of course, having the courage of our convictions to actually speak up that something was not quite right. There was something going horribly wrong for Victoria and Victorians. The leadership of this state is responsible for where Victorians now find themselves and the mess that the state is in. And now we see the Health Workers Union, this once strong ally of the Labor Party, prepared to turn on Minister Makakos. Now there's nothing to be gained from this gloating, but there is certainly plenty to be gained from pointing out the truth that Victorians and all Australians must call out governments of all persuasions if or when they fail them. Today, Jenny Makakos faces her turn at the inquiry. And her term as minister may well come to an end very quickly after that, depending very much on what she has to say and again, how she performs. If you want more content or stories, why don't you go to the Informer website? It's theinformer.tv.